Okay, this video is about how to make a common four-stroke engine tachometer widely available from almost anywhere to work on a two-stroke engine. In this case, it's a two-stroke outboard. Let's have a closer look at the tachometer first. When we turn it around, we can see the connectors on the back side. Battery positive, battery negative, and the signal connectors are the most important ones. This one also has a connector for background lighting, and usually they also come with a selector switch from where you select how many cylinders you have in the engine. To make a four-stroke engine tachometer work in a two-stroke engine is not going to be that simple. On a four-stroke engine, the pulse to the signal connector is taken from the coil negative terminal. But on a two-stroke engine, you don't have that possibility. So that is why we are going to need some other means of taking the pulse out from the engine and putting it to the tachometer. Let's have a look at that. In two-stroke engines, the pulse to the tachometer is taken from the magneto, which is here. What we are going to do is to take the pulse to the tachometer from the magneto. For that you will have to find out which wires are coming from the magneto. In this case it's the white and the yellow. You will need only one wire, so we have used the white wire from where we have stolen the signal which is now going to a converter, which is making it uh, suitable for a four-stroke engine tachometer. Okay, the tachometer is now installed and uh, connected, and I will try to explain the wires. This blue wire is coming from the magneto white wire I was explaining earlier. It's going into the converter, which converts the signal, so it's suitable for a four-stroke tachometer. So it's coming back from the converter and goes into the signal input of the tachometer. The other wires you need to connect are the battery positive both into the tachometer and into the converter. And battery negative both into the tachometer and into the converter. And that's how it works. Okay, now let's see how the tachometer is working. At the end of the video there is a picture of the system semantics, how the converter is built, so that you can make one yourself. In case you don't find parts or, or you just don't want to do it yourself, there is also a link, an email address, at the video description where you can ask one. But uh, let's see how this is working out.